All right, guys, always a great day to break out the Ruger PC Charger. We're gonna be doing a little revisit on this and showing off some cool tech. Let's have some fun here today. Yeehaw, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> yes, sir, Bob. All right. Welcome back, everybody. This is Eric here with iWrite Veteran 8888. Okay, uh, you guys might recall a video that we did last year on the Ruger PC Charger. These are really awesome little 9mm PCCs, and they come in at a very respective price point. They're very affordable. Uh, they do represent an excellent value. This video kind of serves as not only a, a way to sort of just offer more vindication for this rig and just put more rounds through it and sort of vindicate it a little bit more, uh, but to show off some uh, new tech that we've gotten in. We've got a Whip Machine Mod 9 suppressor on this uh, particular rig. It fits on this uh, quite nicely. I think that's a, a sweet little package. We do have an SB Tactical folding brace. Uh, I did opt to locate the charging handle on this gun to the left side. That kind of makes life a little bit easier. So your non-firing hand, you can remove magazines, load magazines, and manipulate the uh, bolt release, which is kind of nice. Now, one downside to doing that is when you fold the brace, it doesn't sit perfectly quite flat, but that's only a minor detriment. Now, uh, the optic that we're running on this gun is really cool. Uh, these are from Primary Arms, and it's a one-power microprism. It's really neat. They have multiple brightness settings, so you do have an illuminated reticle. It's got a really awesome bullet drop compensator in it. Um, you can just dial it in to adjust it to the, to the reticle, just like you would on something like an ACOG, and you have various beast, uh, bullet drop compensation in there for a wide variety of different cartridges, and they do have a um, point blank zero out to considerable ranges with a wide variety of different loads. Uh, anytime you get a primary arms optic with the ACSS type reticles, uh, this particular one is the Cyclops Gen 2 with the red reticle. They also make this one in a green reticle. But anytime you're dealing with the ACSS reticles, they always come with a chart that give you a lot of information about what types of loads and what point you want to zero and everything. Now I have shot this particular rig out to about 150 yards. It does quite well. I'm not able to shoot it out to super long distances today, but I really just kind of wanted to show this optic off because it kind of scratches that ACOG itch and uh, about 250 bucks. So a very affordable optic that is very small, ruggedized. Uh, I believe I was reading it's like a 29 or 39,000 hour battery life. It's some obscene battery life out of a 2032. And it also utilizes a battery saving feature. It's almost like kind of a shake awake feature, which is really nice. Like if you forget to turn it off, it'll automatically shut off. All right, which is really cool, you know? Tactile adjustments, illuminated reticle. On this, which is really cool, you also get three different night vision settings, which is nice. So you can run this thing with night vision. So it's just an optic that's packed with a bunch of features for a really fair amount of money. And I really wanted to put this rig together in the spirit of affordability, right? This is one of the most affordable PCCs out right now. And arguably, I mean, one of the best for the money. I mean, these things are great. You got one of the best PCCs with one of the best micro ruggedized optics out there for the money right now. And these whip machine suppressors are very affordable. So if you're looking for a suppressed PCC, I kind of wanted to put this little rig together to show you that you could do it for as affordable as possible, okay? We're gonna shoot a little bit more. We're shooting uh, 124 grain Bellom full power ammunition. Unfortunately, I do not have any subsonic ammunition uh, you know, things are really tough right now and uh, a lot of that stuff's been back ordered, but I do promise that we have more subs on the way and we will be launching subs through this rig in a future video. Uh, we're gonna put this head to head with a couple of other things, maybe a B and T. So we'll go, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll go Ford pickup truck versus uh, the Ferrari and see how things hold up together. So expect that in a future video. We're gonna shoot this thing a little bit more, have some fun. All right, I think you guys get the idea. Love it.
Well, things running good. <laughs> of course, I had to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Running good. All right. Yeehaw. All right, how about some sodas here in a second? Take out a little more steel. <laughs> All right. I mean, you notice as I'm shooting this gun, it's very easy to manipulate with the bolt, uh, the charging handle being on the left side, it's not really getting that hot. I mean, I'm shooting quite a volume of rounds through this thing. We have one little tiny kerfuffle there. I'm not sure what that was, but we're gonna keep shooting a little bit more. Um, I haven't cleaned this rig since we uh, last took it out, and, and I've been shooting this thing a pretty good bit. And I have to say, I, I feel like the PC Charger is a really great value. You know, these things are great, and I really wanted to do another video on this particular rig. And, um, I do like the takedown feature, okay? So right now the bolt is to the rear and just like many of the Ruger options out there, like the uh, Ruger 1022 takedowns, you take this lever and pick up on it and rotate. Look at that, we can take the barrel down, all right? That allows me to easily visually inspect the chamber, the barrel, I can clean this barrel if I need to. Look at that. Now, all right, we'll put it back on and see if it returns to zero, okay. You just have an interrupted uh, locking system there and it just locks back in place. Look at that, that's locked. The bolt's to the rear, all right, we remove the barrel. Let's take out some soda pops, okay? All right, got the little plate down there about 55 yards away. I'm gonna hit that a couple of times. Now, granted, there's already some splashes on it, but uh, I'm gonna aim kind of towards the bottom right where it's kind of clear and see if I can shoot a little group down there, okay? Now, bear in mind, this is a one power prism. This is only one power optic. So it's really meant for close in work. It's not really intended to be some super long range thing, but the BDC in this optic does give you some standoff ability, which is nice. and. Uh, this is just great, and I love the field of view too on this optic. It's got a nice wide field of view. You can really see a lot if you shoot with both eyes open. It, it's so easy to track this thing. I really like it. It doesn't get lost, you know what I mean? It, it's just right there. You look down, it's just like looking at iron sights, which is really cool, you know? Okay, take my time here and put a few rounds on that plate. I'm aiming in that lower right quadrant down there. I'm not sure how well you can tell there, but it's definitely shooting where I'm looking. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, a couple of more mags. Okay. Now, uh, one thing that I think would be a worthy upgrade on this gun, about the only thing I'd like to change, maybe the trigger. You know, what do you, th you think, Chad? The trigger on this thing probably leaves a little bit to be desired. That's about the only thing. I mean, for a PCC in this price range, the trigger is functional. It reminds me very much of a Ruger 1022 trigger right out of the box. Actually, probably a little bit heavier than a standard Ruger 1022 trigger. That's about the only thing this gun needs is a trigger. Other than that, man, 
This is a fantastic little backpack gun. Also, one other tiny thing that I can say, I think I made this observation in the original video that we did, was that um, this gun is a little hefty, okay? It loses a few points in that, you know, you do have some considerable heft. So I'm not overly sure I would pit this as like a survival backpack gun that you would, you know, if you're trying to shed pounds off of a very uh, already heavy bug out rig or survival bag or, or just a hiking bag, you know, you're thinking about carrying something like this as a defensive option for, you know, hiking or something. Uh, it, if you're trying to shed pounds and keep the weight a little bit on the lighter side, you might run into a little bit of a slight issue there. Um, one more thing I'd like to mention, uh, I would like to thank our friends at Gun Mag Warehouse for sending out these 24 round Glock mags for us. Uh, I wanted to try some of these out because if you are gonna run this in a very short, compact setup and try to stuff it away or whatever, having the 24 rounder is nice because it keeps everything nice and compact. It's less magazine sticking out. So, you know, this is kind of the mag that gets the party started, if you will. Uh, the party starter, the conversation starter, if you will. But that's a, that's a cool rig. I like that. And, uh, you know, granted she's a little hefty, but in those fast strings when you're shooting it quick, it does not move at all. It's super hefty, that, so that extra weight does help keep the gun really stable in those faster shooting strings and keep that muzzle rise down. And the can certainly helps with that quite a bit. Uh, we wanted to make this video because I just thought this was a neat rig. I wanted to show it off kind of in its totality. And I, I just think that little prism optic is a perfect thing to go on this rig. And it just seems to marry really well with the wit can. And uh, that Mod 9, that's a cool can. Uh, I'd love to do some more metering maybe and see how this thing sounds with some subs. But really cool stuff. All right, I'm going to shoot one more mag here. Let you guys get back to your day. This thing, I mean, I can't imagine what else it needs to do. This thing's just running fantastic for me. All right. Yeehaw! <laughs> what a way to end the video. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed this one. It is always a great day to get some 9mm PCCs out to the range. So wanted to show this rig off, thought you guys would enjoy it. Have yourselves a great day. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. Those of you who support our videos, watch our videos, like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you make sure that you get every single video that we post. You don't want to miss out on anything. Have yourselves a great day. Many more videos on the way. We'll see you soon.